left main coronary artery revascularization has been one of the main topics of controversy in the conflicting views of interventional cardiologists and cardiovascular surgeons. The introduction of balloon angioplasty has made the left main coronary artery an attractive target for intervention because of its larger diameter, low tortuosity, and close proximity to the aorta. The first report of PTCA applied to left main coronary artery stenosis was published by Grunzig in 1978. This attempt was unsuccessful. Case reports of successful treatment of left main coronary disease by PTCA in emergency situation or as a bridge to cabbage began to appear in 1980. In 1984, the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute published a consensus report claimed that stenosis of the left main coronary artery was a contraindication to balloon angioplasty. O'Keefe described a series of patients with left main coronary disease and concluded that angioplasty was technically feasible, but the result were inferior to the surgical bypass procedure. A 64% mortality rate was documented after three year follow-up. Risk of possible procedural complication and significance of restenosis on one hand and proved benefit of cabbage on the other, delayed development of percutaneous revascularization in the left main for some years and literature during this period included only isolated rare case reports. We can classify the main challenges of intervention in left main coronary artery into two types. First is the procedural change. Second are the long-term problems related to intervention. When I mention procedural challenges, I meet not only technical difficulties, but basically the clinical situation. The left main coronary artery is responsible for supplying 75% of the left ventricular mass in patients with right dominant type or balanced type. And actually, all of the myocardial in case of left dominant type. Possible procedural complications as dissection thrombus, rupture, and abrupt closure are life threatening and must be prevented and urgently treated in the effective manner. The introduction of coronary stents widening the clinical and the morphological profile of patients acceptable for PCI. The ability of stents to significantly reduce inflation time and boil out complications made PCI in this lesion subsets possible and renewed interest in PCI for the treatment of left main coronary disease. Beginning in 1993, the number of published reports of successful PCI in left main increased from year to year. PCI in left main was performed in different clinical situations, such as in patients with acute coronary syndrome, in acute phase of myocardial infarction, in patients with cardiogenic shock during CPR, in cases of catheter-induced dissection, such as a rescue option for spontaneous dissection of left main coronary artery, in patients with acute aortic dissection complicated by occlusion of left main coronary artery or left main occlusion due to thrombus during coronary angiography. PCI in left main was technically feasible in patients with anomalous left main coronary artery originated from the right sinus of Valsalva, compressed left main by pulmonary artery. Results were published of treatment in different pathologists of left main such a Takayasu disease post-transplant coronary disease, aneurysm, stent collapse or recoil. A fusion improvement in this subset 
has been made possible by the ability of the bulking for optimization of lumen diameter and IVUS guided coronary stent optimization. Since 2000, most large volume catheterization laboratories have been series of cases of patients with left main coronary disease who underwent PCI. The main consensus about PCI in left main coronary artery in this period was concluded in Ultima Registry. This multicenter registry, summarizing result of percutaneous revascularizations in patients with significant left main coronary disease, concluded that PCI in left main associated with frequent serious comorbidities and high event rate and is not being considered as an alternative to bypass surgery in most patients. However, the second period proved feasibility of PCI in left main. Stand implantation was defined as acceptable revascularization procedure for unprotected left main coronary disease in patients who have high operative risk as well as Zuaho refuse cabbage. The era of drug eluting stands gave new opportunities for PCI intervention. The main impact is a restenosis rate reduction. Left main restenosis is a hazard pathology influenced on long term result and main limitation factor for PCI in this subset. The risk of stent thrombosis could be reduced by using of new generation of stents with thin struts without polymer or with biodegradable polymer and use of more effective antiplatelet therapy. The Lehmann's registry. The aim of this study was to evaluate early and late outcomes after PCI in left main and to compare bar metal stand and drug eluting stand. Implantation of drug eluting stand in left main coronary artery decreased the risk of long term maze and particularly improved survival in patients with distal left main coronary artery disease. The distinctive features of current period in use of drug eluting stand Publications of randomized prospective study comparing PCI versus cabbage in patients of left main coronary artery disease, analysis of large registries and proven evidence based indication for PCI in left main in selected patients. The Delta registry is a multicenter registry evaluating PCI with deaths versus cabbage for left main treatment. No difference was observed in occurrence of death, CVA and MI between PCI and cabbage. And advantages of cabbage over PCI was observed in the incidence of maize driving by the high incidence of target vessel revascularization with PCI. This is the result of randomized Comparison of PCI with serolimus eluting stents, cabbage in unprotected left main coronary artery stenosis. The conclusion was PCI with serolimus eluting stents did not show non inferiority to cabbage at one year follow up with respect to freedom from maize, which is mainly influenced by repeat revascularization. PCI with serolimus eluting stents was shown to be non-inferior to cabbage with respect to major adverse cardio or cerebrovascular events. In the subset analysis of the syntax trial in which patients were randomized to cabbage or PCI with taxus, partly taxel eluting stent, in the left main coronary artery subgroup the primary endpoint of non-inferiority in one year rate of maize was met in the PCI group. However, the rate of repeat revascularization among patients 
the left main coronary artery disease was significantly higher in the PCI subgroup. The result was offset by a significantly higher rate of stroke in the cabbage subgroup. Syntax score is an angiographic tool grading the complexity of coronary artery disease. In patients with significant left main coronary artery disease and higher syntax score, more than 33, the rate of maze were significantly higher after PCI with taxus compared with cabbage revascularization. Over 24 studies, including three randomized controlled trial and a total of more than 14,000 patients of PCI versus cabbage for unprotected left main coronary artery stenosis were reviewed using meta-analytical technique. The main conclusion of this meta-review was PCI with death is a safe and durable alternative to cabbage for the revascularization of left main coronary artery disease in select patients at long-term follow-up. All of this new evidence justified new guidelines changing PCI in left main as contraindicated class 3 indication to PCI in left main may be considered in selected patients and PCI in left main coronary artery could be an alternative strategy in selective patients. What is the proper path for revascularization of patients with significant left main coronary artery stenosis today? In the majority of patients with significant left main coronary artery disease and acceptable surgical risk, surgical revascularization is preferable. In the rejected for cabbage group, PCI in left main coronary artery could be considered. In patients with ST elevation MI, left main culprit lesion and timid flow less than 3, primary PCI in left main is preferable option, class 2A indication. In patients with acute coronary syndrome rejected to surgery, PCI in left main is a class 2A indication. PCI in osteum or body left main disease is an option for patients with low syntax score or less than 22 and high surgical risk with STS score more than 5%. This is 2A class indication, evidence level B. PCI in non-bifurcation left main disease is an option for patients with low syntax score and intermediate surgical risk, ST score between 2 and 5%. This is a 2B class indication, evidence level B. PCI in left main bifurcation is an option for patients with intermediate syntax score between 22 and 33 and intermediate STS score between 2 and 5%. This is 2B class indication. Evidence Level B.